Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to install Android KitKat 4.4 on your HTC One using a custom ROM. Now this is quite a stable release. The only thing that is not going to work is the IR sensor. Now here are the requirements to get this stock KitKat 4.4 ROM on your HTC One. Number one, you must have an unlocked boot loader on your HTC One you must have the latest clockwork mod recovery on your HTC One and you must have a rooted HTC One. So before you race ahead watch my video that details in crystal clear instructions on how to root and unlock your HTC One to meet all the requirements uh, that we just mentioned. Now you will find a link to that video under the resources section on my website post which I will link in the description below. After you unlock and root your HTC One, installing a custom ROM becomes easy as pie. Now if you already have a rooted un and unlocked HTC One, let's move right ahead. Okay, so this is an optional step for you guys that want to create a backup before you proceed. So I'm going to show you how to make a full Nandroid backup of your entire system so if anything goes wrong, you can restore whatever you see right here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up this whole thing with all the apps, all the um, text messages, all the photos, all the videos in this phone on this hard drive right here. Okay, so I'm using a micro USB OTG cable which allows me to connect a USB flash drive as an external storage to my phone. So I actually have a link to a video that explains this whole process. So you can go watch that to learn a little more. So what I want you to do for backup is power off this phone. And we're going to go into the custom recovery. Okay, so to go into custom recovery, you have to press volume down and power at the same time. and then you see the uh, boot loader screen and from here navigate to recovery using the volume up and down keys and then press power and that's going to take you into custom recovery okay so I'm using the TWRP recovery but it's the same for every other recovery the basic thing you want to do is you want to look for a backup button now let's go to backup and what you need to do is you need to make sure at the bottom here it's saying internal storage in fact let me zoom in it says internal storage you want to make sure that goes to you tap on that and then you get this menu and then you choose USB OTG okay and as you can see my USB OTG cable was recognized and it tells me how much free space I have and then you click OK so no, now the backup will in fact go into this cable right here so let me do a swipe to backup okay and this is for TWRP if you're using clockwork mod recovery you again you do you have to mount this guy before you can back it up and the, this is the mounting process here you tap this and you choose which storage you're going to use. So I mounted the, the flash drive to my phone. Press OK and do a swipe to backup. Again, this is an optional step. So you can skip this step if you don't want to create a backup. And I'll be back once the backup is complete. So once your backup is complete, it's going to say successful on the top. And that means you're good to go. Again, if you want to learn how to use a micro USB OTG cable, with a USB flash drive to create backups uh, go watch that video that's going to be in the recommended watch section on the post on my website and um, so what you want to do now is you want to reboot the system and go back into the standard Android operating system okay so once you're locked back in you can actually remove this now put it aside and what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and connect your uh, phone to your computer. Once you connect your phone to your computer, I'm going to switch over to your computer. Make sure your phone is actually open while you're doing all that stuff. So 
we're going to transfer some files over to the phone. Okay, so let's go ahead and download all the files that we're going to need to install 4.4 on our HTC One. So uh, click on the link in the description of this video to come to this website post which has all the information you need. Okay, so the required tasks are right here, but this is what we really need, the resources. Okay, now if you have an HTC One for AT&T, you're going to click this link. If you have T-Mobile, you're going to click this link. Any other carrier is not available right now, but as they do become available, I'm going to list them right here. So you can come back and check periodically. So I have an AT&T version, so I'm going to click this link, which is going to take me to this Roots Wiki website. And here is the, um, the person that was able to make this possible, so props to him. And then what, what I want you to do is I want you to scroll down and click where it says Download. Okay, so this is the custom ROM. Now the custom ROM does not come with Google Apps. One of them is, is very important. It's the Google Play Store. So to add Google Play Store, you have to download GAPS. So click this one first and download the Android stock ROM. And then click this link and download the, uh, the GAPS applications, which are the Google applications. And I just want to show you something on this link right here. When you click this, it's a little confusing because you have a lot of download buttons all over the place and these pop-ups. Make sure you click the one that is this one, one that looks normal. Okay, so the black download button worked for me after several tries. Alrighty, so get out of here. Okay, and now one more thing I want to emphasize really hard is that make sure you have the clockwork mod recovery over the TWRP recovery. It seems that TWRP recovery has having some has been having some problems, but the clockwork mod recovery is working smoothly. Okay, so use clockwork mod recovery if you can. Now what I did was I created a folder and the name of this folder is HTC1 KitKat 4.4 and within this folder I put the two files that we need uh, that we just downloaded the ones that I just showed you okay so those two files are right here this is gaps and this is the stock ROM basically all you need to do is copy these guys so right click and copy go to your computer look for your HTC one which should be connected to your computer right now it should be powered on and it should be connected to your computer so go inside go to the internal storage and then right click and copy and paste as you can see I already have copied and pasted the stock ROM and the gaps applications okay so at this point we're done what you can do is you can exit out of here and you can disconnect your phone from your computer and we are going to switch over to my phone right now and conclude this okay so switching over to our phone I want you to go ahead and shut the phone off so press the power button and power this off and we are going to boot into the recovery mode the first thing you want to do is you want to press volume down and power at the same time to go into the boot loader mode okay keep it pressed for a couple seconds and there we go so from here using the volume down key select recovery which is green highlight recovery and then press power to select it this is going to boot you into the recovery mode okay so after you have booted into the custom recovery the first thing you want to do is you want to wipe the phone clean so before you install any custom ROM you must wipe your phone so tap wipe data factory reset and then tap yes to complete the wipe operation takes a couple seconds and then the next thing you want to do is you want to wipe the cache okay so that's the next step tap wipe cache click yes that takes a couple of seconds the next step you want to do is you want to click install zip and then choose install zip from SD card and tap that and once you're here you want to make sure you pick the right option here uh, you may have to do some experimentation but basically you want to tap one of these guys and you have to find this huge list of files and folders this is the internal storage so basically this is the internal storage of your phone where we copied the two files that I'm pointing to so the first thing you want to do here is you want to go ahead and install the stock ROM 
So tap the appropriate zip file. Next step is to tap the yes to install and this actually starts the installation process of stock Android KitKat 4.4. Okay, and this should be a fairly quick process. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so the process is complete. I want you to go ahead and click go back. Just tap go back and then make sure you reboot the system. So tap the reboot button on the top and this is going to send you back into the phone with Android KitKat 4.4 but with some missing features but I want you to see the whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this all the way to the end when the phone loads up. Okay, so we're almost done and there we see the welcome screen. Just tap OK to go straight into the phone. Tap OK and here's what I want you to see. If you go into the apps folder you do not see the Google applications. There's no Play Store here. There's no point in having an Android phone with no Play Store. Okay, so power the phone back off and we're going to go back into the recovery. Okay, so once the phone is back off, make sure you press volume down and power at the same time once more to go into the boot loader mode. And once that is up, select recovery with the volume down key and press power to go right in. Okay, so once we're in the recovery, what we're going to do is we are going to tap install zip. Just like the last time, go to the SD card. Go to the same location you went to the last time. Scroll all the way down. This time, tap gaps. These are the Google applications and tap yes to install. This should be a fairly quick process. And there we go, we're done. So once you're done, just click Go Back button at the bottom here. And then click Reboot System Now. And this is going to log you back into your Android. But this time you're going to have the Google Play Store. Okay, so we're almost done here. And there we go. Finishing boot. Okay, swipe to unlock. Go to the App Store. I'm sorry, go to the Apps Drawer and this time you will see the Google Play Store right there then you can basically tap this and add your Google account and start downloading all your apps okay let's go ahead and change that black wallpaper I don't like that split it doesn't look good so go to wallpapers and let's do the black hole it's a live wallpaper set there we go looks much better so this is it this is Android KitKat 4.4 uh, the stock version running on your HTC One. Go to Settings, go to about, about Phone, and there we go. Android version 4.4. And that's it. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also, you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.